All right, I'm excited to be with you today. We're talking about emotional intelligence. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the model, give you a couple of quick examples, and then what we're going to do is we're going to dig in. We're gonna dig in pretty deep into this topic and talk about what we can do at each of these stages to be more effective as a team. So let's start out, we've got self-awareness. So that's gonna be the top of our circle. I need to be aware of who I am. I need to be aware of my strengths and my weaknesses. So I'll give you a quick example. When I first moved to Madison, people came up to me and said, you're intimidating, and I gotta give them a lot of credit. That's really a scary thing to do. You're intimidating, and my gut reaction was like to get in their face and go, what do you mean, I'm intimidating. That's not intimidating, right? <laughs> That's, of course it's intimidating. But what makes me intimidating, the part that makes me intimidating is that I walk confidently. I speak really quickly. I ask a lot of questions of people, and those things can be overwhelming. So that is self-awareness, just knowing that. But that's not enough. We have to go to the second part, which is self-management. I need to manage myself in this process. What do I do with my intimidating behaviors? Oh, I identify what makes me intimidating, and I learn how I can adjust those. So I can speak more slowly, I can pause, I can ask less questions and give the other person opportunities. There are lots of things I can do to manage that piece of it. So those are the first two elements. The third element is social awareness. So I need to be aware of what somebody else's preferences are in this process. Let's say I meet somebody who is really reserved, really quiet, really likes to take in information or likes to give detailed answers, I have to be aware of that person's preference because then I can adapt my style. So if I'm really fast paced or big picture, now I can go, wait a second, this person actually finds other people more credible when they dig into those details. I can adapt my style. And that's the final part, which is that relationship management. I have to know someone else in order to finally come along in this relationship management and complete that whole circle. And that's what this whole afternoon is going to be about. We're gonna dig into each of these topics. We're gonna look at how can we be more effective across the organization and across our teams. So hang in there, it's gonna be fun, and I can't wait to get started, so let's do this.